Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what part of the world you are in. I am Old Man 102. Welcome to the channel. We're going to jump into Junk Punk. Now, I have the um, <clears throat> volume window open because I turned the master volume off. There was just a bunch of humming. And I wanted to jump in here and talk a minute before we jump into the game. So, Junk Punk came out November 12th, 2021. So, it is an older game. The dev is still very active. When the first game came out, you had access to Monolith 1. And I guess last year, probably about a year ago, they uh, the major update was access to Monolith 2. And we'll get into the Monoliths more when we get into the game. And there, he's working on um, redoing the UI, and he's working on getting Monolith 3 released. So Junk Punk is a factory management, base-building exploration game in a new world robotic ship. In a new world, robotics ship has crashed landed. You and any survivors must restore the rude planet and prepare it for habitable life. Craft, build, explore, discover, and grow to terraform the planet. Both developed and published by SCT. I'm not going to do like a full playthrough. There's a lot of off-camera... There's going to be a lot of off-camera grind... But then I'll bring in for like the, some of the major builds. It, the game, I'm going to warn you now, the game is very dark and YouTube will probably even make it darker. Um, and there's like a lot of sandstorms and stuff. So it is going to be a little bit tough to watch so, in some parts. So I do apologize for the sound at first until we actually get into the game. But I'm going to turn that back up. I have the music off. And we're going to jump into a new game. I'm going to go just normal T difficulty. I'm not going to skip I'm not going to skip the um the intro. Let's jump in. First thing it wants us to do is equip the laser. So E to interact, and I'm going to grab a pen and paper really quick. So apologize, my uh, short-term memory is terrible, and I just want to jot these down. So tab brings up the UI. Q for inventory. E to interact. F is the laser. Uh, P is pause. So can we pause even though I have this open? I can. T is for the light. Flashlight. Um, escape. And then left mouse, right mouse. Okay. Think we have it. What was it? Nope. There's the P to pause. All right. Got it. And then anything else to interact with up here? Little charging station, but I think it's unpowered, so we cannot charge ourselves here. We have a question mark here. Um, add it to data log. I'm going to leave it on the screen. If you want to read it, pause. I'm not going to read it. So pause. Good. And then I believe our laser is here. So we have our laser equipped. Uh, we'll interact. Analysis in progress. The ship has taken heavy damage. There's no way we can back off the ground anyway this anytime soon. Cargo containers have seemed to be deployed before they attacked. <coughs> so basically we are stuck here and we cannot repair our ship. Is it shift to run? It is. Space to jump. Okay. Uh, 
Multiple resources detected on the planet's surface. These can be used to craft and construct buildings. Multiple sites detected nearby. And we'll interact with this one. Analysis of progress. It seems to have a mixture of various scrap metals. Analysis shows various materials. This seems to be one of the most abundant discarded waste on this planet. So if we come over to it right Oh, do I have my laser? F. Uh, I thought I had my laser equipped. Uh, tab. Um, Q. Oh, we have the laser. We don't have it equipped. Alright, do I drag it over? I do. How do I get back out of there? I don't know. There we go. Um, what's the inventory? Q. Does Q take that back off the screen? It does. So, basically, once my once I got the laser equipped, we can just zap a bunch of scrap. So it wants us to collect... Um, 21... There we go. We got everything we needed collected. I'm gonna, we're going to keep walking our way up the hill. I don't want to build a base way down here by the ship. And I don't want to spend a lot of time running yet, because we have no way to recharge ourselves. So we're going to slowly work our way up towards Monolith 1, and we're, I'm going to build a base m closer to th the top of the hill. Well, I guess we could do a little bit of run. Let's just pray our... Uh, ...battery doesn't run out too quickly before we get a chance to build a recharge station. I'm going to pick up some various scrap on the way. Now, like I said, the game is going to be dark. I do apologize. Try and head up to higher ground. Right, so I'm going to do a lot of the, the grind off camera. My goal is to get Monolith 1 built and then Monolith 2 built before the next major update comes out for Monolith 3. It looks like the devs have lightened the game up a little bit since the last time I came in here and messed around with it. Didn't mess around with it about a year ago when Monolith 2 came out, but I never really did get very far, because I had a lot going on with modding and uh, real-life stuff. I think we are going to use this, like, flattish area up here. Just take a quick peek over this way. I'm going to have to do a lot of gathering of resources off-camera so we can actually build on-camera. Okay, so it's not really flat here. Do not walk into the water. You will short-circuit yourself. But I think we are going to end up building a base, so a starter base somewhere in here. That's going to give us access, very close access to Monolith 1. Metals. Let's come up here and grab some more just a regular scrap because we think we're gonna need a lot of bases. <coughs> and I think we just need a lot of just, just basic scrap metal. Don't know if there's an like an encumbrance. It doesn't look like we have a super large inventory space. I want us to do a crafting bench first. You know, I'm thinking if I let us put a little base down on top of this road, I think we're actually going to start building 
right here. Now, how do we get into the build menu? Is it tab for the type? It is. So I want to do a crafting base, but I'm going to do some... Um, couple of it will so let's do a couple of foundations first I'm just gonna go minimum because the ba the game's actually gonna make us build some more of these so I'm just gonna go enough to throw the crafting bench on it and these do snap which is really nice and I think it's it's right click to get back out of the menu. All right, so let's go into um, NWR. Okay, nothing there. Oh, here we go. Base. Nope, that is the base. Player machines. Um, okay, is it not in machines? Okay, here we go. It's in the player. Okay, that's a little bit weird. So the crafting bench. Let's throw it here. So now that we got that part out of the way, so it wants us to craft, collect or craft large gears, uh, build the first machine, the shredder, uh, power source, power cables, and then it wants us to shred some scrap. Now, before it gets super dark, um, I want to look into so it's not going to make us build this. So last time I played this, it actually made us build a base. But that's going to be freaking phenomenal if we don't have to build one. And again, we're going to need um, lots and lots of scrap. I want to get a uh, charging station and a small power generation going first. Over to the bottom left, you'll see our the blue is our power, and it's, it does go down. So before we get into any um, major base building, I want to get us set up to be able to recharge and a bit of uh, a bit of our starter base at least planned out a little bit of a power system started I'm not sure where we get the gears from so we'll, we may have to look around at some different scrap um, what was the light? the light is it is. Alright, I think I want to put a small charging station right here next to the workbench. We're going to throw in just a few more foundations. Trying to go minimum until we actually have a lot of scrap. Alright, so the first thing I want to get into here is the player. Can we get um, basic recharge station? We need two basic um, capacitors. Now, can we make two basic capacitors? <coughs> basic capacitors. Okay, it made us... Okay, now I think we're going to be out of scrap to actually build a charging station with. Jump back in here. Yep, so now we're... We need... I need more... We need copper scrap and steel scrap. Laser back on. So this is rare aluminum gold. Oh, we got some steel out of this. steal out of that one. We got some wiring. Oh, come on, give me, give me another steel scrap. That would be nice. So we got a gear. We're going to need to clean out space by expand our base anyway. Give 
Give me another um, steel scrap, man. We have to go back over to the other pile. Got some copper scrap. Do we get a steel scrap? Oh, we do. All right, let's get our charging station up. And we'll see what we need to get our little bit of a power. Our first little bit of a power going. Oh, so recharge station. Now, where's the power? Power comes in on the back side. Okay, let's, let's just tighten things up a little bit. So this does need power, so it does say uh, basic charging station unpowered. Now let's go into power. We could do a battery. Uh, we have solar and we have wind. We need small gears and we need more copper scrap. And then they changed this up a little bit, so we have a power pole. Must be power in, power out. Connects up to four power cables. I'm hoping it's maybe it's two in and two out. We'll have to see what the ins and outs are. We're, so we're going to want to do solar. We're going to want to get a couple batteries get up, and we're going to want to get some wind generation going. So we're going to need um, five gears and then some more copper scrap. So let's just run up here and grab some more copper scrap. I'm thinking we can craft the gears. We can even find some um, enough small gears. Yeah, we're getting some copper scrap out of here. And we're getting some smaller and large gears out of here. Just grab a bunch. Ooh, frozen. Ooh, it's frozen there for a second. I'm hoping that was just an auto save. It was. Yeah, the game's been out long enough where we shouldn't run into any bugs. I was looking for something different to play when I'm... Because I'm still home with on FMLA leave. About another three and a half weeks yet, so... I was looking for something different. I went through my Steam library and this one jumped out at me. Jump back down here and see if we can get the power going and get our. We, at least we can get ourselves recharged. And again, we're probably not going to go very far with the power. Probably just right over here for now. So, can we do. Oh, we need five small gears. Can we make five small gears? Let's interact. Uh, small gears. Oh, we can only make two, I think. Oh, we can only make one. What kind of scrap do we need for that? Steel scrap. Hmm. Alright, let's go back over this way. We may have to go exploring for some steel scrap. Aluminum rare, aluminum... yeah. Right, let's go see what we can find. Maybe we can find a different type of scrap pile. What are we getting out of this? I think this is mainly like plastic. It is. So let's figure out where we can get a lot of the steel scrap from. We got a gear out of it. Seen any steel scrap out of this? Looks like it's just regular old scrap. This looks like uh, what are we get out of here. We got a little bit of steel, also some gears. Okay, let's go after some of this.
grab some of this up, maybe we can get enough gears out of there. I'm seeing some steel scrap, which is nice. Get enough. We got anything different over here? Looks like the same old. Looks like the same old stuff. We have to run back down the hill. Let's see if we can get our wind turbine. And we're gonna need some power cables. Did we? No, we needed gears, right? Let's go look at, uh, so what do we need for this yet? We need, oh, we have enough for this. Probably won't have enough for the power cable. Well, we'll see if we can have enough to put for the power cables. So let's get our first, um, wind generator down. And then, do we, can we build a uh, power? Oh, hang on, we gotta go into here and build some power cables. Uh, some power cables. Ooh, we don't have a, we're out of copper scrap. Uh, we've built one. Let's see if one's enough to get that on, online. So I believe there's a power in and a power out. And I think this one only has a power in. Most machines have a power in and a power out. The, this one only has a power in. So we're not going to be able to take any power off of this to a different machine, I don't think. But let's just get this connected for now. So if we go into power... Um, okay, where is the power cables at? Player, machines, connectors, okay, power cable. We need to go from there. Uh, how do I turn my... Okay, so I gotta do it with the mouse. Alright, so we should be able to j jump on here and recharge. So there we go. So our power is going back up. Okay, so that did not count as a scrap wind generator. Why? Why did not count as a scrap wind generator? That was a scrap wind generator. Did I build the wrong one? Power. Scrap wind generator. Why did it not count? Build a source of power. Scrap wind generator. Why did it not count? Hmm. I don't know. Does it want us to build the shredder first? We can, but I want to throw some more bases down. We may have to collect enough stuff to build another uh, generator so we can get uh, credit for it. Um, I'm not sure how wide this thing is. I love the fact that I can uh, snap these to a grid. 
probably used up most of our materials. Why did that not count as a um, our scrap generator? <coughs> hmm. Okay, so can we do the shredder? Oh, uh, we can. Now, I want to rotate this. So what do we use to rotate? Is it R? It is. Uh, this one you have to hand feed. And let's, again, to save some space, let's put you here. So, again, it's not giving us credit for the... Uh, the generator that we put down. And we're going to have to grab a whole bunch of stuff again in order to get that down. But now I don't mind running. Oh, hang on. What was the Let me turn my light off since it's light out. Save a little bit of power. Now we just need a whole bunch of more junk again. Alright, this is going to be plastic strap, rubber, and such. Oh, we were after um, steel and copper and that all that stuff in years. Yeah, I, I messed around with this game when it first came out. I really didn't have a lot of time to play it, though, then. So I was really heavily into modding and, you know, working and the getting the YouTube channel set up. So I really just, like, pushed this game aside. So, like I said, I'm not going to do a full playthrough. Unless you want to see a lot more of it, let me know in comments. But it's going to be more of a... Hey, I'm going to do a lot of this collecting off camera, and we can do a lot of the building on camera type of deal. So what I'll probably do after this episode is just collect a whole bunch of... Uh, uh, so it looks like our inventory is full. So let's jump back down here. And we'll have to change our electric up a little bit. Right, can we build another scrap wind generator? No, we need more copper scrap. Oh, man. Hmm. Do we have inventory space for copper scrap? Can we make? We've got one. Can we do? Can we this? Can we do copper scrap here? We can. Oh, we can. We can. Oh, we should have made some more power cables. All right, now can we do? scrap wind generator. Let's put it over by this one. Um, so it wants us to, to connect it. So we're, I'm going to change this up a little bit. Can we do a power pole? We can. So we're going to change this up just a little bit. So let's put you here. Let's grab our laser. We're going to take you offline for a second. Um, why can I not aim at the power cable? Oh! Okay, that was the power cable going down. Whew! Let's build a couple more cables really quick. Okay, we need copper scrap.
and then we can build some power cables. What do you mean, naughty? Oh, no inventory space. Crap. Um, is there anything I can drop? And then pick it back up later. Uh, oh, tab. Hang on. Wrong one. Um, inventory queue. Is there anything we can... Oh, let's drop the bucket. How do I drop the bucket? Do I just grab it? That gives me one inventory slot. Let's grab a couple power cables. There we go. Now let's see if we can get these two hooked up properly. And we can pick up what we have left on the ground. Alright, so let's go back into here. Let's go into connections, power cable. So you are going to go out there and in here. You are going to go out there and in there. And then we're going to go from, let's go from the bottom one to that one, and we'll go from the top one. Uh, I'll turn my camera a little bit, so let's go from, oh, no, there's my, do I, oh, well, I don't, yeah, I do have one. I don't have one. Do I not have a power cable? Oh. I thought I made a few. Q. No, apparently we used them. All right, let's go grab one or two more power cables. Actually, just craft one since we, we're really light on uh, inventory space right now. So tab. <laughs> so we're gonna go from there. Uh, auto save to there. All right, so now that puppy should be powered up. So now we can interact with that. <coughs> and then we have to pick a recipe, I think. So it wants us to, to do... Um, oh, just wants us to... to it wants scrap... A 0 of 50 scrap shredded. So I don't think... Oh, scrap shredded. There we go. And then Q for inventory. So we just need... Oh, here we go. That'll free up some of our inventory space. So we just need to hang out now until we get uh, 50 of these. Ooh, no, we're not getting credit. Why are we not getting... Oh, collected from the machine. Alright, so we collected from the machine. There we go. Uh, go to the monolith. Um, I guess we can let this run. We are, we got a full charge. Let's go see what the monolith is all about. Do I want to hang on to Let's pick this up before I forget. I don't know if they despawn. And let's go pick this up really quick because I don't know if they despawn. Now, now the problem is, how much inventory space do we have? Not much. Can we build a container? So I can just put some of this stuff in. Uh, let's just take a quick peek. Uh, machines, connections, farming, power. I uh, let's see. Base, player. Oh, container, small, container, medium. Let's throw a medium container down real quick. And then I can interact with it. So let's just drop um, some gears in. Drop this in. We got some metal scrap. We got some aluminum scrap. We have some gold scrap. We have some plastic scrap. We have some rubber scrap. 
of electronic scrap. Man, we got a bunch of stuff to metal. To, do those stack? No, they're different. Contaminated scrap. Uh, circuit board. And we'll leave this on us. I'm not sure. Okay, just walk away. All right, let's go see what the monolith is all about. Oh, I messed up. We're going to need... Hang on. Uh, base. What do I need for stairs? Um, scrap metal. How much scrap metal we have on us? We've got a bunch of scrap metal on us. What do I need for bases? Scrap metal. Okay. We're not that far from the monolith. The problem is, we have to build our way up there, because the bridge is broken. So basically, uh, let's interact. Uh, analysts of progress, the monolith entrance bridge has collapsed. Construction of structures will be necessary to achieve entry. So, we basically need to build our way up there. So I'm thinking what we do is we throw a foundation down. Oh, let me just jump up here for a minute. Oh, why can't it? So can I rotate you? Oh, there we go. Now it's probably going to mess up my rotation for the, for the house or for the base, but alright, now can we grab a stair. Can I stack the stairs? Oh, I can. Okay, so that was that's easier than I thought it was. Oh, I didn't put enough in. Alright, I'm going to need one more stair. Let's turn our light back on, which is T, so y'all can see. Alright, can we build... Can I build a platform here? Or can I... Is it going to want me to... Uh, Alright, can I build another stair then instead? Uh, do we not have enough scrap? I do. Why is it not letting me build the stair. We have the scrap metal. Okay, why is it not letting me build the stair? Uh, tab. Stair. Um, I think I may have a bug here. Hold on. Alright, there's the laser. Oh, it was this stair. That I wanted. Ah, wrong one. Okay. Give me one more. Can I do a stair right here? Now can I jump? There we go. All right. Let's check this out. Welcome, LEAF unit. I have tried to connect with your system. They appear to have been damaged in the crash. We are far behind schedule. We must recover this lost time as quickly as possible. I am Pal, a sentient AI tasked to restore this planet. Updating data log now. You require two keys. A biological key and a technology key. I must know you are capable of these tasks to justify the odds of mission success. You must enter these keys to activate atmospheric stabilization. After analyzing damage from the crash, I have been able to calculate a fix for communication with you throughout this mission. However, I am still unable to take control of your unit. Executing subroutine now. Connection successful. We now have planet-wide communications.
All right, is he done talking? <clears throat> so basically, we need to, um, to unlock this, we need a tech key and a biological key. So this station here is where we get our biological key. So we need to put some, um, we got to put plants in. We need um, six buckets of water, six buckets of soil. We need 20 gold ingots and we need 40 aluminum ingots. And then I don't think there's anything to interact with on this side. No. So, and then over here is the, uh, I think that's, this one's the tech key. This one's the tech key. So for the tech key, we need 200 resistors, capacitors, 50 circuit boards, 100 basic processors, 80 motors, 200 small gears, and we need 40 gold ingots, 100 aluminum ingots, and 50 pure silicon ingots. So we're gonna have a, we're gonna have, now we're gonna have to do some automation to get all of that stuff automated so we don't have to craft anything by hand. So this is gonna be system activation. Can't do anything with it because we need the two keys. Now there's a second floor and a third floor to this building. So on this floor, we have, uh, there is glass there, right? I'm not going to fall back through. I don't think I can interact with anything on this side. No, all right, we've got over here. All right, here's the biological key activator. We can't, we don't have the key, so we can't do anything with the biological key activator. And then, can I act, interact with anything here? No, but we can interact with something over here. So this is a seed generator. So this is going to, every five minutes, it's going to generate two of each of the seeds. And we're going to have to come over here and keep collecting these because, we remember, we have to actually take these seeds and grow them into plants. But I don't know if if we get any seeds back when we when we grow the plant. So we're going to have to keep collecting these until we have at least 25 of each. So every so often we're going to have to come back up here when we're playing to grab the seeds with. So there's a alpha seed, a beta seed, a gamma seed, a delta seed, and an epsilon seed. And then nothing to interact with here. So where was that funky elevator at? Oh, we just missed it. So when it stops here, we'll go up to the third floor. Now on the third floor, what do we have to interact with? Uh, we got... Okay, nothing along this side. I've never been in Monolith 2. I've been in Monolith 1 before. I've never been in Monolith 2 before, so... Once we get this one built, that's going to be a new adventure. So there, here's where we activate our tech key. And I really think that's the only thing we can interact with up on this level. So now we've just got a lot of base building to do. But I'm going to leave it here for the first episode. I am Old Man 102 Please smash that like and subscribe on your way out. And have an awesome day.